Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a hydrometer like this, which you can find for less than $15 at a local battery store or online to check your batteries for a bad cell. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is charge your batteries up all the way, if that's possible. Some batteries, if they're in too bad of a state, will not take a full charge. But uh, hook yours up to the charger, see if you can get them charged. We're coming in here with a voltmeter and a fully charged 8 volt battery should be around 8.8 .8 volts. So we're at 8.77, so that's good enough for this experiment. Now we're going to remove the lids. Now we're going to remove the caps on our 8 volt battery here. Set them to the side so they don't get too dirty. And I'm going to pinch this hydrometer so that the air is pushed out of it. And then I'm going to dip it into the electrolyte and I'm going to let it suck up that electrolyte. And what you want to see is four balls floating. Three balls floating is good too. Balls floating is what you want here, all right? So we're gonna go through each of these cells and I'm gonna make sure for the whole duration that I am uh, sucking up water electrolyte here, I keep the hydrometer tip down in the electrolyte, okay? If I pull up too quickly, I can get air bubbles and those air bubbles can give me a false reading. I can always just tap until the air goes away by going up above the bubbles there, but it's just better if you keep it down and suck up the electrolyte all the way. So far, three cells look good. And this fourth cell also looks good. So we haven't tested the amp hour run time of this battery, but as far as taking a charge successfully, this battery is in good condition. Let's move on to the next battery. Four balls floating, that's good. Four balls floating, that's good. Still looking good there, all four are floating. Oh, okay. That does not look good. You'll notice on this cell, when I sucked up the electrolyte, the balls either did not come to the top or they did and they immediately fell. This is a dead cell. So this battery So even though we get a reading of about 8.5 volts for this battery, it does have a bad cell. Usually on an eight volt battery, you can would say that this cell is worth two volts, this one's worth two, etc. Each one equal, making it an eight volt battery. In reality, each cell is worth a little bit more than that. Probably more like 2.2 or 2.25 volts. So if this battery has a dead cell, I would expect to see it closer to six or 6.6 .6 volts. Interestingly, we're seeing that it is 8.5 volts. Now I'm sure that if we put any kind of load on this, this voltage would drop rapidly. And this is just a superficial voltage off the charger. But we certainly do have a bad cell and we're going to need to replace this battery. I don't know anything about aspirins and lemon juice. What I do know is the lead plates on the inside of the cell are beginning to crumble and deteriorate because the sulfuric acid has been inside the plates 
long enough to begin to eat away at it significantly and I'm not going to be able to reconstruct the lead by anything that I put into this cell. So we're going to replace this battery and hopefully that'll fix our problem.